God, the thing is going on in Myanmar is uh, uh, we started in 1988, all that I know, until now, we only have a Advent world really broadcast in three main languages, uh, the, we call the Korean and the Burmese and the Chinese, just only three languages, because uh, we have 135 languages and dialects speaking in Myanmar. We have a lot of art uh, to do in the uh, Advent mission in Myanmar. So, um, <coughs> Hopefully, it's a lot of things we're going to change the upcoming this uh, new civilian government transforming. But uh, uh, my final request for the people, the brothers and sisters who came to here today, and to on the behalf of the people, uh, Adventist people in Myanmar, I want to request and to pray all the people there to give the faithful and the power strength and to <coughs> bring their faithful and the glory of God and to other people who don't believe in the God in the, Biom uh, in the Myanmar. Thanks, you all. Thank you. Happy Sabbath and welcome in your language. Actually, uh, so the pastor requirements to do this. Actually, in Myanmar, I, I speak my mother tongue called Korean. We have uh, eight ethnic regions united in Burma. In my mother tongue, we say the Sapuila Kriopla, Sapuila. So and uh, the officer language Myanmar we said, "Ah, Mingla, she do ubo do ne pi ba de, along with you ba de, pi akang ji pi ba de." Amen. Amen. That was happy Sabbath and welcome. Amen. Put your hands together one more time for Myanmar. And just to be a little bit clearer, we will be getting some reports from. Uh, on Adventism around the world a little later on in our program, but right now we're just asking those who are coming up to give a welcome uh, in your native language, whatever language as it is spoken. And we're going to call on Mr. Fidel Habimana to give us the language, a greeting from the Democratic Republic of Congo. And we'll bring you the mic, sir. Uh, we're, we're going to bring you the mic so you could stay where you were. Amen. And this is coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, before I say it, uh, I would like to correct one thing. Uh, Congo neighboring is a neighboring country of Rwanda. Okay. So um, I was born in Congo. Okay. Then after the genocide, which happened in Rwanda, I had to come back in Rwanda. But really, I'm Rwandese. I was, I was born there. I grown up there until I, I came back to Rwanda. Originally, my parents are from Rwanda. But they were there in Congo because of the history. Okay. Then, but I know some languages from there. And what I want to say is Burundi, Congo, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, those are the countries of the Africa. So, in Kenya. In in uh, in Republic of uh, in Democratic Republic of Congo, for one side, neighboring to Rwanda, you may find people from my tribe. We speak the same language, we share the same the same culture and everything. So it's like even though it's a matter of uh, borders and something, but. The culture is almost the same. Yeah, that's that's the history. Nobody nobody uh, makes the history. The ex uh, the history makes it itself. Yeah. So um, we have in Congo we have more than um, two hundred and fifty dialects, meaning there is no one language. But there is, depending on the p 
people who had the uh, who have been ruling the country for uh, most of the time, uh, there was assumption of saying that Lingala was the preferred one language, okay, in Congo. But in re reality, it's not the only one language which is spoken from there.